let's see the concept of post tensioning and uh, these post tensioning commercial buildings where the flat slab concept is adopted if the span of the structure or span of the columns are more than 10 meters or so so what role in our office gcs structural consultants we do play in this type of structures uh, where the post tensioning effect is there in normal circumstances what happens is the post tensioning structures there are separate uh, agencies who do the in-house design and coordinate in the site and produce the drawing for execution then as a structural consultant what is our role let's discuss and what the way will be um, helping the um, analysis or uh, uh, what exactly the pre-tendering concept we adopt during the post tensioning effect all that effect uh, all that uh, things we'll be discussing and here before starting the post tensioning concept we'll uh, go for an analysis of regular flat slab so now this is a 10 by 10 flat slab without any effect of post tensioning so we do have uh, uh, assigned a slab thickness of 275 mm with m30 concrete and the drop assigned as 550 mm with m30 concrete now the decision of 275 and 550 is based on our experience and it is also a certain trial and error method now this being a 10 meter uh, uh, span structure as per the code we have to have the column strip and the mid strip which is uh, column strip is 0.25 l and uh, balance is the mid strip and the column drop being 0.33 times l so these codal provisions uh, we do follow and we have assigned the necessary drops accordingly we have this design strip wherein the uh, mid strip and the column strip in both directions are decided based on this uh, codal provision so uh, this software this particular software has the capacity to automatically distribute the column strip and mid strip uh, uh, um, satisfying the codal requirement but occasionally or due to some unsymmetric position of column there is a chance that the strip whatever we require may not be understood by the system or we may have certain strip or the uh, strip to run in certain angle then we have to modify the strip according to our requirement at present this is more uh, uh, satisfying the codal provision because of the symmetricity in the structure and uh, it's uh, quite symmetric and the drop is also matching the codal requirements now uh, as uh, in our office what we do is we follow the uh, flat slab analysis in stat pro by uh, modeling it as plate and taking the plate results and uh, uh, using the wood and armor equation we do our uh, uh, slab analysis and design of course this wood and armor equation analysis we have a separate video presentation but then when we do our analysis in uh, stat what is the uh, judgment we do here by creating the model in this particular software actually what we do is we uh, do uh, our requirement or our thickness by certain judgment in this particular software and see that all uh, uh, the punching shear and the shear requirement and uh, other criteria are satisfied or not uh, then we based on this input we create the model in stand and then take the stand results for a further analysis uh, it indicates that this gives us a, a rough uh, a quick idea not rough it's quick idea uh, whether our uh, 
structure is uh, okay or not here uh, uh, if the punching shear and all other effects are satisfied we do get okay here at present here it's failed here uh, some uh, failure is observed probably by giving the external beams we may be able to take this failure out so we have a idea of what exactly the various uh, aspect of this for example here it's okay with ssr that is shear studded reinforcement so this way we get an idea based on this we create in the stat pro for the thickness what we, what we have decided Then we come to the post tensioning uh, slab, uh, wherein uh, here the post tensioning is uh, mostly decided with the coordination with lot of uh, nowadays there are lot of post tensioning consultancy firms or consultancy contractors who do their designs in house and execute in the site. Uh, so what we ourselves do in our offices. We use this post tensioning concept mainly for the uh, initial pre tendering jobs wherein we have to decide the thickness of the slab and drop uh, for uh, and analyze the number of strands or uh, tendons required uh, for that particular structure. At that time, we use our uh, concept and uh, experience in deciding the uh, post tensioning effect. We do refer two uh, books. One is N. Krishnaraju Pre-Stressed Concrete and one more uh, literature uh, that's from by, written by um, Mr. Menon and uh, Paul from IIT Madras. These two uh, book and literature we refer and uh, satisfy ourselves in all the codal clauses as per the requirements and of course we do have this IS6006 wherein we take certain reference for the strands uh, breaking loads and along with the discussion with the uh, post tensioning contractor we are able to judge uh, how many number of strands are required or how far we are able to load balance the dead load. Normally what happens is we do decide the number of strands. For example here we have already decided it. We have decided the number of strands per tendon. For example our judgment says that or uh, it's clear that in the column strip we require more number of strands because more moments are generated at that junction than the midstrip so we may decide to provide more strands than the midstrip and then finally we uh, see that whether the load balancing effect that means the dead load is balanced at least 80 percent or not 70 to 80 percent gives us a good uh, result so this way both longitude latitude or and longitude we uh, provide the tendons based this also is uh, based on certain amount of experience or certain uh, we may judge by the total load and the force taken by uh, uh, each tendon then by using that P by A concept we may judge initially how much tendon in the whole structure may require and then as the first trial we will create that tendon and uh, see the uh, load balancing effect whether it's satisfying to 70 to 80 percent of the load whether it is able to take at least 70 to 80 percent of the dead load so for example here this particular structure we do check the status plan as we did in our uh, normal uh, flat slab without post tensioning uh, analysis then we come to the load balancing effect uh, uh, check yeah 
we do have this load balancing check where we in the it's quite clear here that uh, for the amount of strands we have provided the uh, load is uh, to certain extent it's able to balance quite nicely in the mid strip area whereas in the column strip area it's not able to balance in a uh, proper manner as i said 70 to 80 percent of load balancing uh, effect will give a economical solution in our design Henceforth, in the column strip area, it's better to increase the tendon or increase the number of strands per tendon such that our dead load balance comes to around 70 to 80 percent, both in the longitudinal and the uh, latitude area. Now, this is the latitude, and when we come to the uh, longitude pre stressing. Even here also, because of the symmetricity in the structure, the mid-strip uh, dead, dead load balancing is uh, quite good when compared to the column strip dead load balancing. So this effect, if we do check, then uh, it's uh, it will be a quite easy for us to uh, coordinate with the uh, post-tensioned uh, agencies wherein we do this uh, during uh, this type of situations or pre-tendering work. So this is our major role in the concept of post-tension. Thank you.